Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss stock dividend. What are stock dividend? What's the big idea? Well, for one thing, we are dealing with dividends. What are dividend? Dividend comes out of retained earnings. What is retained earnings? Well, the company generate revenues. That's what they do for a business. Then they incur expenses. Then what's left is net income, which is the same thing as their profit. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to park that profit in an account called initially retained earnings and as the name of it they they are retaining they are keeping you are re retaining something and what's that something it's your earning it's your profit and at some point the company might decide to pay out this earnings in dividend to the shareholders and this is what dividend is now in this session we're not talking about cash dividend that was the prior session we're going to talk about stock dividend so rather than giving you cash we're going to reward the shareholders, but we're going to preserve the cash. We're not going to give the cash out. Now, why not? Well, many reasons. One is we may need the cash for internal growth. So simply put, the company will need the cash to invest in R&D, to buy property, plant and equipment, to expand the company, or they may need the cash simply to operate the business. So that's why we don't pay out the cash. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to reduce retained earnings and we're going to increase common stock so simply put we are going to take the retained earnings out but not in cash we're going to replace it with we're not going to give out the cash we're going to take the retained earnings out and increase common stock what is common stock the stockholders ownership so this is the plan so notice in this process we did not affect asset we did not pay out cash so there's no cash involved there's no liabilities involved notice when we paid cash, if you remember, we declared the dividend first, it became a liability. Here, there's no liability. We are under no obligation. We decided to take our retained earning and distribute it in common stock. And there's no effect on total equity. Why not? Because retained earning went down through, then we issued new shares, common stock went up. So the total effect on equity, none. So notice there is no effect on ca ca assets, no effect on liabilities, no effect on equity. So the issue, the new ownership in the proportion of the current ownership. So for example, if the company has in total 10,000 shares and you own 1,000 of those shares, it means you own 10%. Now, if the company decided to issue 5,000 new shares, 5,000 new shares, you will be getting 10% of those. You will be getting 500 shares. So you will receive in proportion of your shares. So this is what it is. So company does not receive anything in return. So when they give you those 500 shares, because you own 10% of the uh, of the company, because you own 10% of the company, well, you're going to keep your current ownership, but you don't give them anything in return. Again, there's no change in total equity, but the structure of the equity changes. Why? Retained earning goes down common stock goes up don't worry we're going to look at an example to see this also we have to differentiate between two types of stock dividends we have small stock dividend and a large stock dividend before we proceed any further i have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com farhat accounting lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your cpa exam preparation as well as your accounting courses my CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course, such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. So what's the difference between the two? Small stock dividend is when the company issue new stock that are less than 20 to 25% of the outstanding stocks. Let's assume the company will have 100,000 shares outstanding. If they issue new, they decided to issue new 18,000 shares and distribute them, 18, distribute them 18,000 is of 100,000 is 18%. That's considered small stock dividend. If the company decided to issue 35,000 shares, well, guess what? It's more than 20 to 25%. What would that make it? That would make it a large. Now, you might be asked, what happened if they issue 22%? Don't worry, you don't have to worry about this on the CPA exam, nor in your accounting courses. So what's gonna happen is this. If the issue is a new small, if, if, the, if the new stock dividend is a small stock dividend. Now, in the problem, here's the trick that you have to remember. On the CPA exam and your exam on your exam, the test uh, 
the uh, whoever wrote the test they don't tell you it's a small or a large they will tell you they issue 18,000 shares you have to understand 18,000 is 18% 18 out of the to uh, out of the outstanding shares which is a small if that's the case we debit retained earnings remember every time we declare dividend retained earnings we have this retained earnings will go down H how much do we bring down retained earnings we're going to take the 18,000 shares since it's a small times the market value of the stock so we debit retained earnings for the fair value of the stock and this should be given okay now why do we debit the fair value of the stock because the assumption is we issued new uh, and new shares but the, the amount is small it's not going to make any change to the stock price now if we issue if we considered if we consider the new stock dividend as a large stock dividend, let's assume we're issuing 35,000 new shares. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to debit retained earnings, 18, uh, 35,000. And be careful, this is the difference. This is the main difference, 35,000 times the par value. Obviously, we're going to work an example. I'm just showing you the rules. So the debit here, the debit to retained earning is the number of shares, debit retained earning for the par value of the stock. So the number of shares times the par value, small number of shares times the fair market value. Here we assume that the, the why won't, why don't we use the market share? Because we assume the market share, it's going to be influenced because we're issuing a large number of shares as a result the price of the share usually will go down now the best way to illustrate this concept is to take a look at an example so i'm going to be looking at this company where they have common stock ten dollar par value twenty thousand share issued which give us two hundred thousand in common stock the company has fifty thousand of additional paid in capital and retained earnings of four hundred and fifty thousand so all in all we have total equity of seven hundred thousand and this is before we declare any stock dividend. The best way to illustrate this is to look at an actual example. Adam Company has $10,000, $10 par value common stock outstanding. The board of directors decided to issue $1,000 in stock dividend. The fair value of the share is $16. Now, the first thing you want to understand is this. They're issuing a new 1,000 shares. And we, this is 1,000 divided by 10,000 existing shares. This is a 10% stock dividend. This automatically tells us we are dealing with a small stock dividend. Now on the CPA exam or on your exam, they may not mention this is a small stock dividend. So you have to understand what would happen when you have a small stock dividend. When you have a small stock dividend, we capitalized retained earnings for the market value of the shares. In simple words, we reduce retained earnings for the number of shares issuing times the fair value. The fair value is giving. So we debit retained earnings 16,000. This is what we mean by capitalizing retained earnings for the market value. Then we are going to credit a new equity account called Common Stock Dividend, dividend Distributable. Think of this account as it's an equity account. So it's an equity account. That's the first thing I want you to know. But this is the account that's prerequisiting common stock. It's the account that's going to come before you issue common stock. So notice it's common stock dividend to be distributed. So this is an equity account. Therefore, if it's a, if it's 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 the it's what's going to proceed common stock, it means you're going to take the number of shares you are issuing times the par value, which is you are issuing 1000 shares times 10. So this is $10 par value. So this is par value times 1000 shares will give us a thousand and the and the remaining is additional paid in capital paid in capital in excess of par value which is a plug-in of six thousand so this is the entry that you make when you declare the shares now you this is the declaration date now you're going to issue the shares but before you issue the shares let's update our stockholders equity now we have a new equity account called common stock dividend distributable and it's equal to ten thousand we still have common stock equal to 200,000. Now additional paid in capital, we increased it by 6,000, the 6,000 here. And retained earning was reduced by 16,000. So simply put, we took 16,000 out of retained earning, 10,000 of it now sitting in common stock dividend distributable, and eventually it's gonna go up to common stock. And we added 6,000 to additional paid in capital. Now we're gonna go ahead and issue the stock. 
we're gonna dab it and notice nothing happened to total equity 700,000 700,000 now we issue the stock we distribute the stock we debit common stock dividend to be distributable this equity account we reduce it and we increase so this account is gone notice what happened this account is gone this this 10,000 is gone and we credit common stock so this becomes it goes from 200 plus 10,000 it becomes 210,000 again the total is the same all what we did is we took 16,000 out of retained earning and gave it to the shareholders 10,000 went to common stock 6,000 to went went into paid in capital let's change the example a little bit Adam company has 10,000 shares $10 par value the board of directors decided to issue 4,000 shares of stock dividend now well hopefully we know that 4,000 divided by 10,000 equal to 40 percent 40 percent means we are dealing with a large stock dividend again they may not tell you this information they may just say are you do you know that you're dealing with a large stock dividend the fair value of 16 dollars i don't i don't care about the fair value here because the fair value is irrelevant because i am going to capitalize i'm going to debit i'm going to reduce retained earning the number of shares times the par value number of shares times the par value is ten dollars which is going to give me forty thousand so four four thousand times ten dollars is forty thousand then i will credit common stock dividend to be distributable forty thousand all what i did is i reduced retained earnings by forty thousand and included a new account here in 40 added a new account of forty thousand and reduced reduce this by 40,000 increase this by 40,000 that's all what I did nothing have changed now I'm gonna go ahead and issue the stock when I issue the stock I'm gonna debit this account and credit common stock I don't have paid in capital so this is gonna be gone this 40,000 will be gone and it's gonna be added to what it's gonna be added to here this 40,000 went up from here to here added 40,000 to common stock and I'm still in the same boat all what I did is I took 40,000 out of retained earning and gave it to the common common share holders that's all what i did what should you do now go to farhat lectures work mcqs true false additional resources that's going to help you understand this concept better whether you are a, a college student or a cpa candidate invest in yourself invest in your career subscribe invest in your education it's going to pay dividend down the road good luck study hard and of course stay safe